Hey Paul, how would you like to tell people some of the tools you use as an author? Sure, I think uh, one of my favorite tools for writing is Scrivener. Um, it allows me, uh, here it is right here, it allows me to organize the book uh, you can see I've created a folder for each chapter. Now, Scrivener does allow you to have um, separate items for individual scenes if you want as well. I don't use that particular feature. Also, there's some really interesting things up here. You can go down to the project and set your targets so you can see how well you're doing in terms of reaching your objective. Can you read that on the screen? Yes. And, um, of course, I haven't been writing today because it's not a writing day. Um, there's also some new tools I've recently come across. I can't remember where they are all the time here. <laughs> uh, under Oh, here we go, writing tools. So there's now a built-in dictionary. You can look up, uh, you can search directly in Wikipedia. Um, there's a name generator even, which is really cool. And you've got all these different types of names to choose from. Uh, Spanish, Polish, Japanese... Uh, finish is even in there, which has surprised me. What one was missing that you wanted the other day? Uh, well, I use Germanic names a lot, and there was there was a German names, but there wasn't uh, German surnames. <laughs> so that means, but this is a relatively new feature. And then you just click here and generate names. You just can a pick. Minute. We'll go back. You can pick uh, yep. male or female, or you can select either. You can attempt to have it create a, alliteration. You know, where the first name and last name begin with the same. Thing. That's really good for superheroes because apparently superheroes are like Peter Parker and oh, yeah, they, yeah, they always yeah. have the same letters. What are villains? I don't know. I don't see a villains option in here. Oh, villains, you mean naming? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I haven't read enough comics. You can even change the obscurity level of the name. Look at this. Oh, my God. Low obscurity. I, I've never tried it with high obscurity. Yeah, there's some pretty strange ones in here. Yeah. There was another tool that you liked, too, in that same area that you were surprised with. Not sure which one you're no. referring to. No. Okay. Guess we'll have to cut that one from the interview. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So would you say that's your favorite tool at all? of all? Uh, for writing, yes. It's allowed me to be a lot more productive. Um, I mean, I use, obviously, maps and something. So over here we have Incarnate, which is a great tool. But that's uh, that's for doing artwork. 